Good morning, everybody. This is Vanessa at It's All About Me channel. And um, today I'm going to be making some breakfast. Actually, a couple of things for breakfast today because there's a few people that are going to be eating and they have different requests. With that said, my main focus for the video will be the uh, mangu, if anybody knows what that is. <laughs> so mangu is a dish that comes from, well, I'm Dominican, so my mother makes it, so I, I'm thinking it's a Dominican dish. And I will be preparing that today, along with uh, um, other things that you could eat with the mangu when you make it. Um, also wanted to give a little shout out to Michelle, which requested that I do the mangu. And so here it is. I am going to be doing the mangu today. Right. So here are the ingredients that I'm going to be using today for today's breakfast. Uh, keep in mind that this breakfast will also keep the hunger away because of the, um, um, platano which is the green plantain. This helps you, keeps you full. Okay, guys, so if you eat this breakfast, you will not be hungry until dinner time. <laughs> so the ingredients are, I have my salt. I have here side chichong, which is like a Dominican sausage, okay? This Dominican sausage, as you can see the Dominican flag, it's called igeral, igeral. Now this was, I'm gonna be honest with you, this was the most affordable one that I found. Typically, the one that had been promoted a lot on TV was Induberca, Induberca. And that one's going almost for like almost $10. This one cost me almost $6. It was like almost $6. So I decided to buy this one. I have here American cheese. I have here queso tropical. This is white frying cheese, guys. Please also know that you don't have to just use it for frying. You could eat it as is, and you could even add it in soups. There's actually a famous soup that I make that I'm going to be making one of these days for you guys, which I'm going to be using this cheese in it. I also have oil and olive oil. This is essential for the mango, guys. This is just for me to fry the things that I'm going to be frying. And then I have here some eggs. I have onions. Oh, guys, I also have to include the vinegar and also, so here's the platano and there's bread. So just give me one second so I could just show you the vinegar. So we're going to need vinegar as well. Okay, guys, I also have here a spatula, a wooden one, a, a, obviously a, a knife to cut and a spoon in the event that I need a spoon. All right. Now from here, I'm going to point the camera into this sink that shows a bowl and in the bowl you see my platano, right? You see my green plantain in here. The reason why this green plantain is in the bowl is because it's soaking in hot water. In order to peel this green plantain, you have to soften the outer um, layer of the, the plantain in order for it to come off nicely, guys. All right, if you don't do it, it's okay. You just might have more trouble uh, peeling the uh, plantain. So now because I like to get a head start of things, I already have my boiling water, okay? That's gonna be for the, the plantain that I'm gonna be. Guys, moving forward, I'm just gonna call the plantain a platano because it's easier for me, okay? I, I typically don't say plantain. I, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I usually say platano, okay? So anyway, so here is the pan that I'm gonna be frying things in, okay? And it's already warm and I have the oil in there and this, so they're both of these things right, are ready guys, to go. So I'm gonna grab the platano, right? And I'm gonna peel it now. So I'm gonna show you how I peel it or how you can peel it, okay? So typically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the ends off. So now you have it like this. Sorry, <laughs> I heard something. Then I'm going to slice, let me see if you see it, slice down. Then I'm gonna peel it like you do a regular banana but as you can see, uh, you see, I am going to peel it like this softly, guys, because and, 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 and do it going down. But just be careful because if you don't see it lifting, you have to put more pressure, more pressure in the platano so that it, it could open up. You see how it's opening up? 
do it take your time when you're peeling the banana <laughs> the platano because if not it's gonna be harder to for you to peel it off and it's gonna look the but the put the platano is gonna look ugly you know what i'm saying so what i mean is like if you don't take your time to do it you're gonna have to it's gonna take longer to 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 peel now if you're lucky it'll peel all the way so now hold on sorry guys so now you see how i'm pressing my fingers inside so that it could continue to peel wow i'm just sweating doing this this is crazy so i did one side so i don't want it to break so now i'm going to start peeling the other side so here we go you see you see how i'm doing it sorry this is kind of annoying here uh, okay so i'm trying to open it you see guys okay luckily i only have one of these to do <laughs> and there you have it guys Woo! success right if you do it carefully on the first attempt you will do it correctly. So now you have your whole peeled platano. Wow. Now I was, you know, typically when I do it, I try to do it fast and sometimes I go through hassles, but I wanted to show you guys how to properly do it. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna put it to boil right now. All right, so now as the platano is boiling, the other things that I have to think about doing next is first I'm gonna Cut some of this up, which is the sachichong. You're gonna take the cheese and you're gonna slice it because you're gonna fry this cheese. The sachichong, we're also gonna fry it, okay? Then I have my eggs, which I am going to fry two of them and scramble two because like I said, remember I'm preparing for other people here and um, they're not gonna eat the mango. I'm, I'm actually gonna eat it. That's why I'm just using one platano because I don't need to eat so much platanos. <laughs> and also the, the, the kind of the, the bad thing about the mango is if you don't eat it when it's just made, it turns hard. It gets hardened. So, I mean, you could re reheat it up and whatever. There's another, there, there's ways of you to make it soft again, but the best way to eat the mango is when it's just made. So I'm going to start um, chopping up the onions, chopping up the uh, the cheese and slicing the um, salty chong. All right, guys. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be, I'm just adjusting the light so you guys could see. I'm going to just show you guys how I cut the onion. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna slice it like this. You see how it looks like little stringy? That's the way you're gonna do it because you want it to look pretty when you add it inside the mango. So this is gonna go inside the mango. So. That's why I'm cutting it like this. It's kind of hard, I'm sorry guys, it's kind of hard because you see, I'm trying to film it, you know, do the video at the same time, show you how I do this, okay guys? So as much as you may or may not like onions, this is essential, okay guys? This is essential to give the flavor to the mango or it's not gonna taste the way it's supposed to. But I'll show you what you may do if you don't want to add the onions all right so here we go i think i have enough onions because it's only one platano so i don't have to add that much onions so i'm just gonna put the onions inside a little container here sorry guys so i'm just gonna put this in front of you guys i'm gonna do this now the next step you do is you're gonna add salt. You're gonna add salt into this. Actually, so that you guys can see it, I'm gonna put it in my hands first. So I'm putting it in my hands and I'm just sprinkling the uh, salt. Oh my God, my eyes are killing me. This is starting to make me cry. The other thing we're gonna do guys is to the onions, we're gonna add vinegar, okay? So I'm gonna add two 
capsizes of the vinegar to this amount. Okay, guys, it's not a lot. I'm just gonna add it to here. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna take, sorry, I guess you need a fork. I'm gonna take the fork and I'm going to kind of like tap, tap the onions so that it could release its flavors, guys, into the vinegar and salt. The salt, this combination is awesome, guys. This is such an awesome thing to add to your potato salad. You know, and actually in this form, using this method is really awesome. So what we're gonna do, it's gonna just tap it a lot. Woo, until we feel like, okay, the, the, uh, the vinegar is already, a, you know, properly encoded, has encoded the, uh, the onions, guys. And then you're gonna put this aside so it just could continue to kind of like cook. Cause the salt and the vinegar sort of cooks the, um, the onions. So that by the time, like in, maybe in five, by the time I poured it inside the mango, it's not gonna be as, 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 um, I don't know if you, you wanna say spicy, but you know what I'm saying. You know how you taste when you eat a raw onion. It's like, wow, right? So what happens is the salt, vinegar, reduces that sensation and gives it like a, like a pickle. It's like pickle, pickle, kind of tastes like a pickle. Okay, so now on to the next thing. I've already sliced my cheese. So I slice my cheese and, and you just slice it. It's not a big deal. You slice it and you put it aside because we're gonna fry that. The next thing I'm gonna do is also, I'm gonna show you, I know you guys know how to do the uh, slice the side of chicharron, but I'm gonna show you for those that you might be curious not knowing. So I just cut it like, I cut it like this and, and, and uh, I took a piece of it because I'm just gonna, use this part of it right i'm not going to use the whole thing so i'm not going to open the whole thing then i'm just going to on the side i cut like this and then i just peel it off okay guys if you're able to see it i'm so sorry because my little camera lady is in here she's actually still sleeping and i have to find a method how to show you guys you know i take these shots by myself so now you're gonna do not fat slices you know I'm going to do kind of thin slices. The reason why I also do thin slices is it kind of cooks better. Even though this is already cooked, it's just, I don't want to do them fat slices. But if you like flat, fat slices, <laughs> if you want a fat slice, you could go ahead. But remember, you're going to need more oil. So it's probably best that you make these slices not that, that thick so that... um you don't need more oil to cover them, you know, once you flip it. So let me see, three, four, five. I don't want so much, so I'm gonna have three for my boyfriend. Maybe he wants four, I only want two. And then let me just do another slice. And then this little piece, I'll just, I'll have to just save it for another time, you know, for very soon, cause you're gonna, you're gonna have to use this very soon, cause it's, you know, it's exposed and, you know, it's gonna turn bad if you don't use it right away. So now, so now the uh, platano has been boiling. I would say it's been like five minutes. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go poke it. I'm gonna go take my fork and poke it to see if it's been cooked through. So now guys, when you go to poke the, I'm sorry. When you go to go poke the uh, platano, if you're able to poke it through, you know that it's completely cooked. If you go and it's still hard, you know it needs more time to boil. All right, so I'm gonna go poke it right now. <laughs> and hey, they're done. So that's good news for me because guys, you cannot start frying the other things without your platanos being cooked. If you start to do everything else before your platanos are cooked, your stuff is gonna be cold, right? So you don't wanna do that. So you have to think about what you need to, be. whenever you're cooking, you always have to think about which is the fastest to do and which takes longer because you want to be finished at the same time. So as you're preparing everything else, you know, just keep in mind, you know, what needs to be first, what needs to be second, what needs to be third. Now, what I'm going to, the next thing that I'm going to do right now is the, the mango, right? So 
I'm gonna take the platanos out so that we could get the mango going. And then, see, since I'm shooting a video, it's it's a little harder because I have to be, I'm shooting it myself. I know this is TMI, but this is just facts. Typically, I would have just done everything at the same time. You know, I would have put that, I would have done this, da, 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 give it time for the platanos to get done and then I fry everything and then I'll combine the stuff. But since I'm doing a video, this is the way I'm gonna do it. So more than likely, maybe my eggs might be a little a little not hot but cold but who wants hot you want it you want it like room temperature you want it just warm to eat so i'm going to take out the platanos because i'm going to do the mango right now okay guys so um that's it just uh stay tuned all right so i'm sorry i'm a little hot because it's hot in this kitchen and i needed to get some water because um i'm thirsty <laughs> i'm sorry just gonna take a quick sip I'm also making space to show you guys how I do the mango. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. Okay, guys, I already turned it off. I was letting it cool off a little bit because I got to be working. I have to work on it, in it, you know, so I wanted it to not be as hot as it is. So I let let it sit a little All bit. Right. Guys, I am now, I have this pan, frying pan, okay? And I'm going to add in the onions. I put a little bit of, I put a little bit of, of regular oil. Regular oil. I didn't use the olive oil. It's regular oil. Okay, guys? So we're gonna use some regular oil and we're just gonna cook up the onions now in this regular oil. Okay, so you can use any oil to cook the onions okay guys now i i i did it low because i didn't want it to burn me so i'm just raising the fire right now so once you start seeing that the onions are cooked through that's when you're gonna take it out stirring I would say like about a minute okay guys so move it around for like about a minute so remember I say a minute because based on the amount of onions that's in here it would be like at least a minute okay guys at least a minute so now I'm gonna pour in some olive oil okay guys I poured in the olive oil remember the the fire is off I'm not cooking the olive oil into this. I'm just going to stir it in. Okay? That is what you're going to do. Okay, so just keep stirring it in for like about another 15 seconds. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do now is that I am going to open the pot. And you see how it has liquid still, guys? We're gonna use some of that liquid, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the liquid out on the side here. All right? Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of these to mash the platanos, okay? So as you see, I'm sorry, I forgot to show you guys that I need, that you guys need one of these. If you don't have one of these, you could use a fork, but this is the best thing you could use, okay guys? Because it makes it a lot easier. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pound it in. Okay. Another thing guys, I'm so sorry I forgot, was did you add a little milk in this, okay? So you're gonna add a little bit of milk. So here I have my milk. I'm gonna add a little bit. Okay, add a little bit of milk and, sorry, and continue to smash it in. Then
Then we're gonna add some of the water that you used when you were boiling. Okay. And the reason why is it's gonna help loosen up the, the, the platano, it's gonna give it a smooth texture, which is what you're looking for, you know? So I have the consistency array that I pretty much want for my mango. Now the last thing you're gonna add to it is gonna be your onions. So here I have my onions. I'm gonna put in the onions with the olive oil inside. And now I'm gonna stir stir it in. Now, I'm not gonna mash it in, I'm gonna stir it in. Okay guys, so now um, this is the time for you to just stir it in and then you're gonna taste it. And if you want to add a little more salt, this is the time that you add your salt. Okay guys? So pretty much the mango is already done. You see how much it made? It's one platano. So one, this actually, this, this I'm not going to eat all of this. I'm going to eat some of this. But you made enough for like two people, depending how much people eat. But in all actuality, you know, we're trying to watch our weight. We're just going to eat half of it. Right, guys? <laughs> okay. But I need to speed up the process because people are starving over here, right? <laughs> so what I did was, this. remember I had this already on the side. I just decided to put in the cheeses, sorry, put in the cheese slices, put in this, I just put it all together. It's going to all go down the hatch, right guys? It's going to all go down the same, the same hatch. If you guys want to cook it separate, go ahead, but I really believe in killing two birds with one stone. So I'm going to leave it for a couple of minutes, guys. This is not on high, this is on low. Once you kind of check, you're going to check to see how, look, you're going to check like this, right? You see, I know it's not ready yet, but once you start seeing the sides get a little dark, that's when you're gonna check the cheese to see if it looks like the way you want it to look in terms of how how crispy you want it. But don't get it too crispy because then it may start sticking to the pan. Okay I guys? Flipping the the cheese already. And I'm sorry, it's kind of difficult. So there, this is how you want it to look. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh, so I'm just gonna flip it, let it get like that on the other side, and then I'm gonna take it out. Uh, right, so now I'm going to fry the eggs that I'm gonna fry, and then there's some eggs that I'm going to scramble, and I'm gonna do that right now, and I'll show you. Uh, just please keep in mind that I already scrambled the eggs in, in, the, in, the, in the, um, the little bowl. I'm just gonna show you how I cook it, cook it in the pan. Um, Maybe I'll do another video on showing you how I scramble eggs, but <laughs> you would think people know how to scramble eggs, but you know, there's, there's always those beginners, right? So on a separate video, when I have more time, um, and with my daughter, where she'll be helping me and she'll be scrambling eggs because she likes to do those things, then I'll do a video with that. But for now, I just want, you know, to get, like, everything's almost done. I already have everything almost set up and ready for you guys to see. And um, I will give you a couple of pointers that I, I, I haven't said and uh that I, I will tell you towards the end okay all right guys so here we have the non-stick this is a non-stick skillet and i'm spreading the oil all over the place now the fire the fire is on low so i'm just gonna add the eggs so i could scramble okay so that's the eggs and i'm just gonna pull it now, in order for you to avoid the egg from sticking, this typically works, but um, you have to pay, pay, you have to have patience, okay? You just start pulling the egg. Once it start forming, you start pulling the egg. Now, you need a little, I have to add a little bit more heat. I just, I don't want my eggs to burn. So, what you do is you start pulling it like this, guys. Start pulling it like this. That's just to avoid it from getting all over your pan. Because I do have to make more eggs and I don't want to get those little, little sticky stuff on the pan, which makes it so difficult to later clean. So this is not how I always do it guys, all right? And usually I use a smaller, a smaller, frying pan but I'm trying to you know do a lot at one time and plus this these eggs are gonna go inside a sandwich it's not like you're gonna 
anybody's gonna be looking at them <laughs> the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put my eggs the ones that i'm gonna fry i'm gonna crack my eggs Yes, guys, there is a little piece of uh, a circle of the shell, but I'll take it out. Just trying to do it with one hand, guys, for you guys to see. Okay, there you go. That was good. All right. So I'm going to let, let it cook a little bit. Okay, guys. And then I'm going to flip them. Please know that I I, I I had added eggs. To, I mean, sorry, I added salt to the other eggs, and I'm just going to... Add a little bit of salt on the see, eggs. I flipped my eggs already and look how nice they're sliding back and forth. Just gonna get them a little more browned um, and then I'm gonna put it on the, the plate and then we'll see what happened over there. Okay guys, I already put everything in order. So now I'm just gonna show you the result. Hello guys, here is the mango right here with the fried, um, <laughs> fried cheese. This is frying cheese, two eggs fried eggs and I don't I don't really like the little juicy thing so I I, I, I did it that the I cooked it well so that the little juice doesn't flow some people like it some people don't or it depends if you like it you know you do it however you want to and then you have the sarchichas well the sarchichon which is the Dominican sausage and then guys I wanted to tell you a little bit about the mango you see how the mango has onions toppled over it so what happens is I did a little extra because you see originally I didn't do a lot, but I did a little extra because you're supposed to top the mango with it, okay guys? And gives it that better, it, it, it just spreads out that flavor, it gives the mango more flavor because without this, the mango is not mango. And then I here, here I have, I'm sorry, then I have here on the side what my boyfriend's gonna be eating because this is what he wants. So he doesn't really eat mango, he is not Dominican, he is Puerto Rican and he doesn't care for the mango. <laughs> and that's okay. But you know, everybody has their own taste. And then, so I gave him his, uh, the sarchichas, the sarchichon, which he loves them like that. That's why they're nice and crunchy because he likes all these things crunchy. So as you can see, his plate is nice and crunchy and he wanted some scrambled egg and cheese on toast. So that's what he's getting. And I'm gonna be eating some of this guys, some of this. So okay? to wrap it up, I'm going to taste it, which, I, I um, I'm actually excited to taste it. So I'm gonna get my fork and I'm gonna give it a taste. The best thing to taste just like my mother's. It really tastes amazing. Please remember that when you make it, you gotta serve it right away. If not, it's going to start to, to, to um, getting hard, you know, it doesn't have the same creamy texture if it continues to sit. Now, for those that don't like onions, you may still like the way it tastes without the onion. So what you would do is, you saw how I, I pickled the onions? You just use the liquid from it. That's what I do when I do potato salad for my boyfriend. I just do everything but add the onions. You still use the onions, but you're gonna strain it. Okay, guys, you're gonna strain it. You're gonna do your little. You're gonna put the salt. You're gonna use. You're gonna put the vinegar. You're gonna put the onions. You're gonna let it marinate in there, and then you're gonna strain it out, and you're gonna use that juice for your. Uh, or your mango. That's if you don't like onions. But if you like onions, you do what I just showed you. And the onions make it look pretty. Because at the end, when you put the onions on top of the mango, it looks like, yo, this is the bomb. I don't think, guys, I wanted to tell you that. Give me one second. I got to get him this before it gets cold. All right, so guys, I, I'm not sure what I was talking about because I had to go give him his stuff and then give him something to drink, you know? Um, well, I'm talking to you, I'm eating, okay? 
Because you gotta eat while it's warm, guys. What's the point of having cold food? It's like when you order food and it's delivered and it's freaking cold. You know how I feel about that? Mm. I'm like, no one messing with my food. I hate that. I cannot stand someone messing with my food. So I like to go out to eat. I don't like deliveries. Mm hmm. I'm sorry, guys, being kind of rude here eating, but it actually is freaking good. And um, all right, so back to the tips, right? I told you about the onions and the eggs. I will make a video and show you how to do the eggs so that it doesn't stick. I'm sorry, I really couldn't show you much. Like, it's okay. It takes like, yeah, I have time to do videos now, right? Anyways, um, oh, all right. When you guys are cooking this stuff, guys, please remember to put the pot inside the sink and open water immediately. Okay? Make sure you saw that I that I what I did was I took the the, the pot, which was in the sink. I took the pot and I mashed it in the pot because I don't want to dirty more things, guys. You keep taking this out, put it in here, smash it here, smash that. But it's how you know you got a, a mess in the kitchen. And guess who gotta clean it? Because your kids don't want to clean anything. So you're going to have to end up cleaning this thing. And in order for you to avoid having so much to clean at the end, what you have to do is keep in mind that whenever you've done with something, put it in the sink, open the water, you know, rinse it out a little bit, some soap, and let it sit. By the time you do everything, then you come back to the sink to do your cleaning. And it's going to be smooth sailing, girls. And guys. Yeah, okay, guys. <laughs> Ladies, you know what I'm talking about? So if you want everything to be fast, you know, you don't want to be stuck in the kitchen doing dishes and stuff like that, immediately after you finish with something, just put it in. Put it in, even with your fry. The frying pan, very important. Once you once you um finish with it like I did, put it in the sink, open the water, you know, and take your, your thing and just pass a little. Make sure you don't have no food stuck on it though for you men who do this, because it's men. <laughs> predominantly and no it won't be the women and only I say that is because it's only if you're used to doing a lot of cleaning you know washing dishes as ladies that mainly do it you don't want the food getting stuck inside the sink and all that stuff so that's why I tell you this guys because men don't understand because men don't do it all the time I know he's hearing me but because you don't do it all the time you don't realize that the food gets stuck there and who's gonna throw it out something you shouldn't be doing let me think, is there anything else I wanted to add? I don't know, but I hope you like the trick about the platanos that I learned to do. I know I'm kind of rambling here, am I? I'm just disgusting with you guys. I'm kind of bored, you know, when this coronavirus thing going on. I got no one to talk to really, you know. My boyfriend doesn't know what listen to me, so. And obviously you can see I could talk a lot. <laughs> but, um, see, now I lost my train of thought. I got so much in my mind. But the whole point of the story is that, mm, yeah, I learned to do this because when I was young, oh yeah, besides being Dominican guys, my father's Puerto Rican too. The thing is like, I kind of feel like, I, 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 now I guess I feel like I'm more Dominican in a way. Not like I went to DR. I've been to PR, I haven't been to DR, but because it's, it's my mom, you know, and I grew up more with my mom, you know, and, and I did more things with my mom as opposed to my dad, you know. I know I learned one or two things from the dad, which is what I'm going to speak about. So the way I learned about that is my father and my mother and I, because my sisters were not those to be in the kitchen, you know. I don't know. They had no interest in the kitchen. I did it from a young start. So when my father was making the pasteles, you know, when I do a video... When everything gets back to normal, I'm gonna do a video with my dad with the pastelas. And I'll show you how Puerto Ricans do it, okay? Because <laughs> I'm not gonna try to figure it out, guys. All I know that when I was a little girl, around seven, eight, nine, I'm not even sure the age, it was very young. I was the one that used to wayar, you know? I would, I used to get my fingers all scratched up from all the wayano that I did for them. I had a wayar, potatoes, carrots, yuca. Yautia, plátano verde, plátano, guineitos, guineitos are the are the um are the uh, bananas are are green bananas. You know, so the bananas before they they get ripe, they're green. So those are called guineitos. 
they also taste good anyways the guineitos i used to do all that sh stuff <laughs> Sorry. and then at the end my father he would make you know he would make the pork and all that stuff and i would help him um you know put them in the in the in the wax paper it's like a wax paper i don't know if it's really called wax paper but you put it in the paper and i would help him put it in the paper and i help him tie them up so i know how to do that stuff why because i was little and i used to do it and i used to like doing it it's the craziest thing i was like yeah let me get it the bananas were the easiest to to put through the through the through the the the, the again oh here so you know it's not this it wasn't flat it had the four sides and it's actually it's not even none of these it's actually it's a different it's a different teeth so i used to have to do it like this i would sit down in front of the tv and do it you know i used to stay up until like 10 p.m doing this stuff you know and, and then but you know what it was fun you know at least i have these memories guys you know memories of what you do it growing up with your parents cooking this is traditional stuff this is things that when you get older you value you know what i'm saying so it's it's nice to be able to because what else do you guys talk about besides food <laughs> besides eating trying new things out you know it, it's a way to stay connected united you know guys when we have these holidays this is what's the most important things about holidays you know unfortunately people just take mainly the holidays to go out and mingle with your family you know you, you should have other occasions to go out and get together and make you know there are people that do cookouts you know i have a lot of friends that you know they do barbecues, cookouts, invite people over. You know, it's fun. Ladies get in the kitchen. We start talking all this crazy nonsense, start cracking jokes, talking about the past. This is all fun, you know. It's all fun. And, and you know, you look back about at these times, you know. And uh, don't forget to take pictures. So sometimes people don't take pictures and, you know, then you kind of lose that memory. But when you take pictures, you look at that picture and you're like, yeah, I remember that. You know, I yeah, I remember that. Because I, I was actually looking at pictures the other day and I... um. I was seeing a lot of things. I found a picture that was like, wow, it was like 16. I was like with my best friend at the time. And it was, I think her sweet 16 and her mom had rented out a hall in the night of Columbus. And I was there with my, my first boyfriend. Yeah, he was in the picture. But the funny thing is the picture was all blurry. You know, it, it was so long ago, but you know, it's so bad the, the cameras weren't that great back then, but I still had like, it was like out of focus. So whoever took the picture, they were out of focus, you know, like whatever they did. And so we came out blurry, but I know who the people were, but you know what? It, it took me back to that time. So guys, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I, I think there's something else that I want to say about the platform, but I can't remember right now. But uh, if you have any questions, comments, um, like, share, subscribe to my channel. Please keep in mind that these videos that I do when I'm cooking, I also talk to you about my things. You know, that's why it's called It's All About Me channel because I'm going to talk about things. You know, guys, what do you do best when you're cooking? You know, you talk about things, right? So, again, not only am I going to be cooking, but remember, guys, again, we're in this state of emergency with this pandemic going on. And like I say, I cook. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hi, <laughs> girls and guys, whoever's listening. I get tired, you know, I, I get tired. I get tired. I like to cook and everything. It's only enjoyable when you want to do it. So when you feel it's like people are like, yo, I want this. You start like, hey, what the hell like that? I look like a restaurant to you? <laughs> No, right? Okay, well, again, guys, please like this video, subscribe, share, comment, positive comments, guys. Please, no negative stuff because you will get deleted. Just kidding. <laughs> you know, nobody needs no negative stuff. That's for sure, you know? Anyways, again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and until the next video.